tiny device, massive impact. Watch me transform this M5 Stick Plus 2 into an advanced Wi-Fi pen testing tool using Infiltra. Previously, this underground firmware had a complex install, but now with the web flasher, it's just a few clicks to get Infiltra live. Infiltra firmware on the M5 Stick Plus 2, the powerhouse user upgrade, cranks up TX power at stealth scanning dynamic channel hopping, and automate spoofing on your M5 Stick Plus 2 offers advanced features at the cost of potential instability. Now, the Bruce firmware is a more stable firmware. Um, it's more tested, it's a minimal aggravation, um, it's perfect for demos and learning environments, but this firmware right here, this is for like the next level. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to flash it using the new web flasher. Again, previously, this was very hard to do. You had to do a lot of command line stuff to get this thing to work, but now it's as simple as click a couple buttons and you're ready to go. So let's demonstrate how easy it actually is. First thing you're gonna do is click flash firmware. And right now it's kind of limited because this is brand new. There's a whole web flasher experience. So go ahead and click on your device. I have the uh, plus two. Click on that and then Click on connected device. Now this is the time where you plug it into your computer. As you see now it's popping up. Make sure it's highlighted, hit connect. Now stick with me, we're almost done, believe it or not. Click on install firmware. Now I always do erase device because just you get a clean install. It's just I recommend doing that option. It will erase everything, but that's pretty much it. Let it do what it has to do. Do not unplug it during this process. And before you know it, it will be done. So the device will turn on and uh, there's no like fancy boot screen or anything like that. It's just, you get what you get. It's, this is what it is here. So I'm going through all the uh, options it has. IR, RF, RFID, Wi-Fi, uh, Bluetooth. Um, so you go through everything. Now, when I said, when I said earlier about instability, it's pretty buggy. Um, I had it um, crash a couple times on me, but I did notice that um, compared to the Bruce firmware, it's kind of good at uh, recon. So the Bluetooth like scanning worked really well and the Wi-Fi and the network recon was pretty good. I also really like this feature right here where I was able to see how much activity uh, there is on each channel. Um, it seemed like the sub gigahertz stuff worked pretty good. Uh, my issue was for 90% of this, that every time I tried clicking on a feature, um, it just wouldn't do anything or it would crash again highlights of this device for me testing it was again the recon capabilities is definitely better than the Bruce one um, didn't really do a lot of pen testing per se but more for recon and information I noticed so I'll be leaving this firmware on it for just for that because I mean I already have a bunch of Bruce firmware devices as it is so it's nice to have something a little different but I can see this getting better um, there really seems like they're trying to enhance the stuff that's already out there um, do I recommend you downloading it? I say it depends on what you're looking for. If you want a good recon tool to have in your pocket, that could fit in any pocket really. Uh, I say this one, um, and it's really easy to switch back to Bruce if you wanted to. So it's a good thing to experiment with. It really seems like this company is trying to squeeze every bit of hardware uh, capabilities out of this. Um, so I think it's like, again, I like seeing things that try to improve on others. If the more competition you have, the better products that the consumers get. So I'll be excited to see how this grows and we'll cover it when this changes. But the biggest change right now is that this is now has a web flasher, which makes it super easy, like you saw, to install. It was less than a minute to do it. So, all right, let me know what you guys think in the comment sections. Are you excited for, to see this type of firmware being released? Uh, will you be downloading this yourself? Um, let me know what you think. I'm really excited when this stuff is going to be available on LilyGo devices. Uh, we'll be covering that also. I think it would be really cool to see this on the TM bed. You guys have a great day. Thank you for coming. Remember, safety is an illusion. And I'll see you guys in the next video.